Yo, yeah, awesome. You're right, dude. I just need to go get a drink. Hey, Lenora. I'll be back in like, I don't know, a minute, maybe more. Imagine. BRB! <laughs> I'm sorry you're not feeling great, dude. Hopefully we can cheer you up a little bit. Oh no. Shenanigans. Hey, Froggy. Hey, Vaker. Hey, Everest. Hello. Hello. I oh, know the gremlins here. Hey, hurry. I did, I haven't had a chance to reply yet, dude. About Hurricane, yeah? Or Hurricane. I'm, is it Hurricane or Turrican? I'm never quite sure. But I'm guessing Hurricane or Hurricane. Yeah, that looks cool. Gives me the nostalgia. Hey, Colin. Hey, Pumpkin. It is hurricane, like that, yeah. Okay. Reminds me of the fucking absolutely sick... What's that, sorry, Pumpkin? Reminds me of the really fucking sick Commodore 64 opening for Turrican. It's got like an evil man laughing at you. And then two minutes of load. Oh yeah, we got the ninja outfit now. I did that off stream. Oh, that looks quite good. I'm not sure it protects you with your boobies up, but you know, looks cool. That's what's that's the important thing. It depends because Twitch has to fucking approve them now as well because I'm on their naughty list because of them taking down my emotes that are completely 100 percent part of their own TOS. They they've ignored me as well, which is great. They haven't they haven't got back to me. I need to send another. I was busy at work today. I didn't get a chance. I need to send another like support message. Like, hey, why am I getting no answer? Actually, I might do that now while we're loading in. Let's let's laugh together. Where's the Twitch website? There it is. So it's under this thing. That's under help. There we go. Oh, now it's in the correct language. Score. Oh wait, I've got to log back in, do I? I think it looks quite nice. There we go. Wait, are they taking away the? Are they taking away the live chat stuff? I think they have. That's really annoying. No, it's contact support. That's what I want. At least it's not Bulgarian today, which it was yesterday, which is weird. Partner subcategory emotes.
Right, there we go. I'm just gonna. I only keep messing with them. I don't know. Maybe we should mess with them like literally on the hour every hour until they answer me. Maybe that's the way we get this done. So where's my Twitch thing? Twitch. There it is. Your case. Sorry, I remember that, guys. I'm just, I'm carrying. All right, here we go. Wait a sec, folks. Hey! Right, I'm gonna do that. I might do that again. Did someone remind me halfway through the stream. We'll do that again. Hey, Lugum. Hey, Sage. Yeah, maybe that's what it was, because, like, it was all in Bulgarian yesterday, like, just randomly, which is fine, but I didn't speak Bulgarian, which made it a little bit tricky. So I was like, uh, shit, how do I report this? Yeah, Avarice, we can, absolutely. So, I'm guessing you three then. Alright, nice. Your Amazon in Sweden is still fast, cheaper and to get from German, Danish, or UK. Really, John? It's bizarre. I really actually like this. I really like the Ninja getup. I think it's nice. I don't know what the other ones look like, but that's very nice. It's like, what's the, what's the old saying? It's like it's stylish and sexy, and can seem and looks kind of functional at the same time while being completely useless. What's up, Liga? Hey, congratulations, Sage. Oh, I'm really pleased for you. Oh, I need to put on the XP boost thing as well, don't I? For the guild. Everyone here is part of the loot guild, right? Or am I mistaken? Oh, Avarice isn't. Monk is getting Howling Fist back. That's really cool. I was, I was seeing it, looking at some of the changes. Monk looks like it's going to get a, quite like a lot of stuff back. Your KFC turned at the correct time today. Awesome. About bloody time, right? Right, let's do a level appropriate leveling roulette. Who's tanking and who's healing, by the way? I wouldn't mind going as deeps, if possible. They can't do everything. It looks like Monk's got given a load of stuff back. It's like it's like they realize they pruned it too far, maybe, or something? Your Tanak? Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's do this shit. Tell me what dungeon we get, I might turn the music off. <laughs> Never mind. No dungeon for us. Hey, just go. At least not the Thousand Balls, exactly. It could always be worse.
GG easy. Elixir field is also. Honestly, all the monks are looks really good. Hey, Joe Marath. How you doing? The Dark Knights. Dark Knight hasn't had a huge amount of changes compared to some of the other tanks. They get a cool move called Shadowbringer, though, which is pretty awesome. Latest bird. Level 50, hey, congratulations! Woo! Good lord! Shadow Bangers, though, exactly. <laughs> nice. That didn't give me a lot of XP, but hey, yeah, we'll take it. Alright, I don't know if people just want to do a trial or some other stuff. What time is it? I uh, could probably do a trial or something. And then some other shenanigans. We'll do a normal raid. The fists are gone. Which fists? It's a good outfit. No, that's fine, John. There's no problem. The fist dancing. Oh, are they completely gone? That's outrageous. What are we supposed to spam when walking now? That's disgusting. Eh? Dis nuts. Hey, these nuts. Hey, Stoli. I got an email. Thank you for contacting Swift. This is your case. Yeah, they said that last time. They never got back to me. So maybe I need to message you again. Maybe I should give them an hour this time? I don't know. Like, these response times are fucking shoddy. Like, I'd be re like, like, with my lot, like, if, th if they give a response like I got with my team, I'd fucking bollock somebody. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's actually really cool. So going for like almost like the ninja-esque sort of style thing. You're running MSQ on the way to Shadowbangers. So you're okay unless you need crap. No, that's cool. It's, it's only if you want to come. Like, so who did, is anyone else want to join? Darth, do you want to join? John, do you want to join? If anyone else wants to pop along. I mean, depending, S SLA should be roughly res respond within like a day, and then deal with three. But auto response doesn't count as part of the SLA. At least it doesn't with us lot. So you need a you need an actual human response. Sounds good. All right. Who do, who wants to do what? Cause I can I can go deep actually. Maybe I should go maybe I should go ninja and get some extra XP. Yeah. Ninja. <laughs> Ugh. I noticed that the bunny in particular doesn't have a lot of battle noises. She occasionally says stuff, but it's pretty pretty uncommon. Oops. I put Soze. Key to Sozo. Exactly. Right. Uh... Oh! I, it's actually me that's the problem. I'm the bad. Fucking hell. Alright, hold on. I was trying to be lazy. <laughs> Sorry. I can't do it. My item level's too low. Uh... 
Let me just go, uh, let me go fix that a minute. Oh, it could be honestly Earth, yeah. It could just be like something copy paste, like an actual human doing a copy paste. I just feel that, like, if you want to take half of the money for the subs, right, I feel you should fucking do something when you actually need help. I don't think that's unreasonable. Just throw it out there. Man, I wish I knew a partner person. Again, I mean, it's like 4,000 on their shitty leak list that GDPR's gonna fuck them in the ass for. At the very least, like, they could give me a decent response. If only about that. Alright, let's go get some armor. Or some weapons. Or both. Right. Do I not have anything? Let's have a look. Mm, no. Alright. We got level 50 ones. Yep, here we go. 115. Shit, what do we even need? Dex. Dex, vitality, and skill speed. It's gonna be aim. Is it, aim is it aiming? Shit, what do I even use? Scouting. Do we have a scouting? We don't. I'm guessing it's aiming. No, it can't be. Slaying? Must be slaying. Hey, Jen. Yeah, get in there, get in there. It is aiming. Okay. Oh, I don't want the earrings. I'm a dum dum. I'm a bad at this. Jesus Christ, somebody stop me. Uh, it's actually, I want the neck piece of aiming. I want the bangle of aiming. And I want the ring. Two rings of aiming. Cool beans. Oh yeah, what was this chest? I didn't check out. Full of stuff, no doubt. Let's have a look. Koga guard. Koga chainmail. Is this like a higher level one? Oh, it's like a different colour. It's like a purple one. Actually, I'm just gonna buy one. Disciple of War Gear. That's what we want. Level 50. Oh god. I'm at 130, so that's fine. That's 130, 130, 130. So it's the boots and the leggies that need sewing. Not a belt. I don't see my item level still too low, it's because I haven't changed the thingy over, right? There we go. Oh, my gold. I'm gonna crap everywhere for ages now. Sorry, folks, don't be a sec. Just remember how to do this. Hey, there we go. Right. Don't need those. I should probably sort this ninja stuff out. <laughs> Do that in a Lude. I'll probably just make it look like what I'm wearing in a second. Hey, Echo, okay, yeah, doing alright, dude. Doing alright. Getting the man, getting the. What are we on? Day 11? Day 12 of that? This shit now? Wait, what? Wait, what? Alright, I'm bad. No. Oh! Wow, okay, I just got some random ones. I thought they were the same ones. Apparently not. Okay. Yeah, it needs to be, it needs to be average item level 90 for this, so... I'm at 109 now, which is good. Just trying to sort my god off bags. Huh?
There we go, that looks a bit better. There we go. Alright, nice. Hey, Pengy! Thanks again, Echo, dude. Appreciate that, man. Hey, Star. Alright, I'm... You all guys ready? Alright. Oh god, I look like a fucking train wreck. Disgusting. I've got 40 seconds. I can make this work. God damn it! Please not Kate Westwind. Oh, it's, um... It's our boy. No, you can't. Don't pull. I need to glamour. It's very important. Success! We're to be doing this as DPS again like this. sides on this. But that's cool, dear gun. That sounds like a good change, actually. I should get to hear the song for a bit for a change. Not for long though, obviously. But... What? Archers, was your friend high? What the fuck? Wait, how come, Peggy? That's like sitting there eating a crumpet and like going, dude, have you ever considered that like crumpets are like the fucking basically worshipping the god of toast? What the fuck? Go sit down, you high fucker. Go sleep it off. Good lord. I like your uh, Halloween earrings. Alright. Now I need to fix this. We are incredibly unfashionable right now. We're in the wrong shade of whatever the fuck this colour is. D did I fucking actually do that? I did, right? Yeah, it's done. 
that, that's darker. Yeah, okay. Alright, nice. Excellent. There we go. Now I look ninjury, I think. This looks pretty ninjury, right? Wee. Policy Pengy, that's insane. Like, where, where are the rest of your peeps? A ninja bandana? I can't wear anything though. My bunny's been banned from wearing anything on her head, which is a bit sad. Alright, let's- should we do like a cool trial or something before we finish? Are peeps still missing trials and stuff at the moment? how stealthy that is. It's not even that much quicker. It's all a scam. Quite an injury. I'll take it. I'll take I'll take I'll take quite an injury. That quite an injury is good. Alright, let's have a look. I just like a cool raid we could do. Like a... Has everyone now unlocked the Omega stuff? Has everyone got Omega? Like Delta Scape and stuff. I, I want to do the fucking train. I've got this urge for the train. Should try it. You haven't done Alpha 4? We we should do Alpha Four. We should for absolutely do Alpha Four. Okay, absolutely. Oh, you need your book. Oh, okay, okay. Let's let's do let's do let's do train. Let's sign up for both. Fuck it. Let's sign up for both. Yeah, no worries, Avarice. Thanks for joining us. Am I out of date on my book? Shit. I better go get one then. Where's that? Where's that scary little cat? Let's go find. Did anything happen to the sub badges? Yeah. Yeah, the milkers got banned. Twitch Twitch decided that uh, cleavage is now legal. As well as uh, severing about half of the emotes as well, Jen. I'm trying to get an answer out of them for the best part of uh, two days. Why, they're completely in the TOS. It even says on their own page it's in the TOS. Uh, they decided that it's not okay anymore. Randomly. But some of them are. But not all of them. Which are the same as the ones of the band, but not. Because, I don't know, it's automated and bullshit. Give me a journal! Look at this cat! Clearly a demon. Give me a journal, small cat! Oh, she's kinda cute. And it's Sir Emmerich as well. It looks just like him. There's another cat! Any relation? Hello, yes? Yes? I love that she has to stand on a box. She's too short. Wait, wait, you, you got another cat. Oh my god, it's like cat cat. There's so many cats here, what the fuck? Yo dog, I heard do you cats so you can cat in a cat. Wait, wait, we need- no, you should now sit on the cat. Hold on. Wait. Can we mount up here? We can't, can't we? Can we? Oh no, John's doing the creepy thing. I can do that too now, John, actually. Hold on. Okay. Perfect. Wow! 
can't get Twitch to agree to your emote. Yeah, the, they, like, when I was actually trying to get them agreed, it was random, like, depending on which human looked at it. Like, on one time I had the Alice with the Knife one, that um, Mary Ellen did, and the amount of times it got rejected, and then one time it just didn't get rejected, because reasons. No, I haven't signed up, so, sorry. I do that. Uh, uh, I'll tank, okay. Oh, well, I guess we'll both tank, won't we? Yeah. Okay, someone can't? Did I, have I fucked something up? Yeah, someone can't. Did not everyone have Alpha 4? Yeah, loads of them got actually, and it's really irritating. It's really irritating. Luckily, Pumpkin is fucking awesome. We got, we got a plan. We got a plan. So. Okay. You have all the Omega Raids, so what's going on? Oh, maybe because I've left Limited on. Nope. Okay. Maybe I should just do one at a time. Stormblood, yeah, yeah. It's the main raid series from Stormblood. Oh, uh, you've only got Deltascape version 1 and 2. Okay, that explains that then. So you've only got the first two. Right, okay. Okay. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. You stay. We'll do V2. Let's get your, let's get this shit unlocked. Let's go. Less than five minutes. Let's do this shit. See? Who needs Q times you got two fucking tanks and two healers? Or whatever. Fuck yeah. Speedy cat. Meow! Oh, am I the only tank? Okay. You understand, sir? Okay, no worries. Which one's this one? This is the up down guy, right? Okay. Let's see if I can remember how it does. Old but not old, old. Nice! What level are you hitting them? What level? It's a bug! This is from XDEF stuff, right? Hey, hey, girl, bug. Oh no, ban it. If it's blizzard, turn it into fruit. I guess Pippaloo Blank wants to do it. Oh. The catastrophe. Is it you? Get a five, yeah. Yeah, so float when you see like earthquake stuff. Hey, 33, nice. I'm a level 33 too. High five. A hundred G's. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Mm, 
tentacles. Fleshy members. Oh. Forget, do you have to like look at them or something? No way, you look at the work preview. I hope it goes alright, Pangu. Good luck. I remember this guy being distinctly more difficult. Maybe I misremember it. Or we're about to wipe. Oh, this is a go up job, isn't it? I just remember, I, I, for some reason I remember you going up and down. Like, consistently. I must just be misremembering. Ah! Aha! So where's the safe spot? Not here, is the answer. Oh no! That's bad. We're okay! It does look like a beholder, actually. I'm fine. We'll see what That one over there. Nice. A bra holder. Wait, aren't bra holders just holders? Minus cheese. like ground? You know take candle. Woohoo! Eat shit, weird blob. Nice. There we go, off. Here you go, Ross Boot. Good job. Oh god. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Oh phew. Woohoo! Looks like a teapot. What, rather than the beholder? Wow. Do, do, do. Nice. Alright. In that case... Next time we can do the next one seems I've unlocked it. What do you mean, sorry? I mean, yeah, we can just carry on doing the next ones. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We should just get them done. Like, if you're having trouble with queues, we'll do it with you. That's the best thing. Is it already unlocked? Is the next one already unlocked? Go on, then. What's the next one? Tell us thing. Oh, it's this one. Okay, this one's great. This one's great. This one gets spams a lot. This one's always popping, by the way. For There's a very good reason for this, because it's really fucking quick. Honestly, all of these are really good. This is basically just the best of Final Fantasy. Like, as a series, these raids, until you get to, like, Alpha 2 onwards. You had to buy Endwalker twice? Wait, what? Can you get a refund for that? I hope so. 
Delta Scape 4 is amazing. And Delta Scape 4 on Savage is fucking insane. And it looks awesome. This is Harlequin, right? I can't remember a proper name. AKA the lady you farm when you're trying to get your relic done. Oh, Harley Kanasa, sorry. This one's cool. This is a good one. Oh shit. No, I was out of the way. Get up, get up, get up, get up. comes. They're back with the vengeance. This is a tricky one to work out. No! Moonshad, no! Oh, you mean like Flea from uh, Chrono Trigger as well? I think that was just weird, uh, weird translation perhaps of Flea though. I still have mad respect for Flea, Aussie, and, <laughs> and Slash. It's wonderful. Yoshi P is pretty good with this kind of stuff, to be honest. Any new sub badge idea? Not haven't thought about the sub badge particularly yet. It's mostly emotes first. The sub badge will come up to us soon. We will be replacing it. Don't worry. Just need to have a think. Honestly, I'm going to be uh, at work at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Oh shit. Not bad. So I'll have some time to think, probably. Oh no! Get all, get all, get all, get all. Rabbit. Get up, get up. Oh no, the cum comes back. If you're happy skipping the cutscenes to watch it later, only if you are, we'll do we'll do the final one, which is fucking incredible. Then I'll show the stream what happens on the savage, savage one, that as well. Ah, oh, we didn't quite make it. Ah, uh, this is fun. This is fun. Right, let's go. I'm actually actually you know, I'm glad we didn't make it. Actually, this is cool. Hey, Lorella. I'm thinking of Savage X Death, you know, the, the particular bit. Harlequinessa is now having a cup of tea, I can respect that. Alright. 
And there we go. Nice. Jeep. Rip. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me a shot. You know, you knock yourself out. Cough. Book anyway. Void Ark. Oh, oh god, Orban Monastery. Okay. Sure. Oh, I should tell you all. So, fucking Meg, right? Came down this morning. Ready to start work or whatever. So, came downstairs. Someone stood up in the kitchen. I come in. Fucking Meg has not only knocked over her water bowls, both of them, she's buried them in her nest somewhere. She stole them and buried them. So, I'm looking, I'm like. Right, so how are you going to have any fucking water now, you dope? So I'm like, oh, I have a quick look around the bedding without trying to, in, like, wake her up as best I can. Let's see if I can find them, and I can't. So I've got some water bowl uh, bottles as well, like traditional water bottles. So I DIY, like, one of those up onto the side of the cage. And then I wake her up to make sure she has a drink. So I rattle around until she comes out. I'm like, come here, you. And I, I, I basically, like, hand feed her water. Or hand water her, I suppose. Make sure she drinks. Four is ready. Let's fucking go. What a legend. Water your hammy, literally. Like, she wasn't... At first, she wasn't sure what it was. So, this might seem a little bit mean, but I did it very gently. She wasn't quite sure about it, so I just squeezed it so it squirted a bit of water at her. And she's like, huh? Oh! Oh, it's water! Because she hasn't had a water bottle in, like, six months or whatever since I've had her. So, bear in mind, she probably... Uh, whether she remembers what a water bottle is, I don't know how their memories are like that. I don't know if it's an instinctual thing when it comes to the water bottles, or they have to be, like, trained on those. I'm not quite sure. Either way, she was fine after I after she got the gist of it. <laughs> but she looked at me like... <laughs> when I squirted her a little bit, she looked at me like, Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Right, I'm gonna get the XS14 Savage intro. There it is. Get that ready. Cause that thing's fucking sweet. Right. As, as tradition, we should be dancing, I suppose. Am I wearing my appropriate tank appropriate attire? Absolutely. I really like Idol Shah, actually. Like, it's a really... It's, it's nostalgic for me. I spent a lot of time here before it looked like this. Like, uh... Where, it would have been around... I'm trying to think. It's kind of hard to picture it now. Like, I guess around here somewhere. This is where all the vendors were for the gear. It was around here, and like this garden-y bit at the back. And, uh... All this was ruins. And, like, all the gobos were trying to build it and stuff. It was really cool. Alright, here we go. This is X-Death. The big bad of FF5. Which is fucking cool. It's also where you get the pet, wind up mini mini X-Death. I can respect the colourful armor. Time for the next Twitch message. It's been about an hour. It's been 51 minutes. Wait, Moonshad? Is that the same one we had just now? That I gave a accommodation to? Alright. So, XS a bit tr is trickier than the other one so far. So, bear that in mind. So, we have to be um, as soon as for the Doom. There we go. Thank you very much. XF uses his, like, normal, his moves from FF5. This is the 
AoE one? No, just that one. Kaboom! There we go, so now he voids up his skills. That's the A we want, fuck. Okay, I, I thought it was the original Thunder, but it wasn't. That was my bad. I knew one of them was the A we want. This is the Don't Stop Moving one, I want to say. You gotta keep, when you get the Blizzard ones. He looks alright. You know, as far as big spooky. Uh oh. Oh. We got better. Oh yeah, meteor. Come on, dude. Oh yeah. The next one's got loads of cutscenes before it, ah, so it'll probably be a bit difficult to get it done quickly, even with it like escaping all the uh, stuff. Oh, that's just regular Thunder through. He hasn't powered it up. God damn it. Hey, Wraith, sorry, dude. You're right. Oh, this is a burly fire through. Yeah, he's literally the same as FF5, which is really cool. Very nice touch, I think. Regular from the three. What one thing I never understood, like I'm trying to do the thunder, thunder, thundraga, rather than like one, two, and three. I'm sure there's a reason, but it is in Japanese. Oh, really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Evil tree. Evil tree. Evil tree. Eh. Oh, come on. I was clearly out of the evil tree. Come on, man. Don't be like this. Excess, why you gotta screw me like this, man? I'm the kill. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Big Shad. That's, that's. No! Oh, dear God. Is this a wipe? Oh, my God. Oh, dear Lord. Alright. Nope, we got this. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Take that chump. So, I'll show you something in a second. I'm surprised, they, well, I'm surprised we, don't, we don't get Thunder, Thundara, Thundraga, because that makes a lot of sense. Yay! 
Alright, so let me do a window capture quickly. Here we go. Let me just piece out of here. Is there anything I want? Why not? I already got that. We out. Yeah, that was a fucking nice red frog. Alright. Here we go. Can you all see that? Oh, that's a bit quiet. Hold on. Oh god. God dang it. Sorry, I've... So that's where he goes, just like last time. I think you can all see that. God damn it. This is what happens with the savage one. He's a big boy. It's very cool. Yeah, Neo X Death's like sprite in FF5 is fucking nuts, and they it looks really good there as well. Good stuff. Well, next time, after if you get it all unlocked and whatnot, we can do, um, we'll do the spooky train and everything. Alrighty. Thank you, everyone. Right. She'll park uh, Bunny here for now. And we'll get some fucking switching on the go. See if we can finish us some Matroid. No, it's, good. it's all good, Earth. I'd rather we unlock stuff anyway. Like, I think that's a good thing to do, right? Can you all see that? I need to put my delay back on, on my mic. A bit too quick. Excellent. Alright, so where are we heading to anyway? Through up uh that way, isn't it? We're gonna go go slap Darth Burb. Oh. Hello. Wait, what? Dude, Sammy, what's the deal? Sammy had the rage gun on. Sammy's got wankers cramp. Terrible condition. So why did that affect us then? What's going on? Sorry, just checking. Just sort of my thing back out. Let me in. Of course, there's a a bomb. Okay. I mean, we could easily just like that. Oh. <laughs> you thought you could get up here? I did. Well, fuck you. Oh, the last Emmy, I guess. The last Emmy is in captivity. It is forked. This all looks fine. This is not fine. 
Whoa! What the fuck? Um, wait, what? 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 Wait, what? Sammy's got the rage again. Sammy, now's not the time, yeah? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Um... Okay, okay. Wait, is this a live Chozo or is this a extra one as well? Special power? Is this, is this to do with the X Fox? It's like the Metro Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that, is that, is that the Met, is that like the Metroid, um, is that the Metroid energy draining power? Do you think? Is that the implication there? Because it looked like she drained it. So the Metroid DNA in her has actually given her the ability to use the, the, um, the DNA, like the, the suck. Oh no, he's a, he's a slopper. He's a slopper. What is he? Why is the frame rate in this room so fucking bad? Mercury Street, what were you doing? What's wrong with this room? Oh, Sammy's just sucking him. Oh my god, we can suck him off. Nice. Holy shit, we're a Metroid now. I love Metroid, he's so cool. That's the power bomb, I'm guessing. Yep. Interestingly, that is exactly how you show a power, like a power um, increase done well. An enemy that has traditionally been very difficult to deal with, that requires a special borrowed power, and now Sammy, because he just gets fucking nope, grabs his weird little penisy thing and just m bulks it. That's what we like to see. Hold R, then push to, to hold R to charge. Okay. Power bombs are fucking insane. Wait, we can go this way. But I kind of want to go up there. Yeah, so look up here. So we got five power bombs. Do we have a? Damn. Wait, are those Chozo ships? That must be that must be Raven Nod ship, and it's mate. Nice. Do we wear a flash? What do you mean? Like, do you mean like a seizure, seizure or? It's very bright. It's a nice penny. Okay, all right. That's that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Fair warning then. Uh, let me just edit the stream, just so people are aware. Oh, I didn't actually change it to Metroid. That'd be useful. I didn't even change the stream over. people be aware. There we go. Perfect. 
I'm sure I'm sure it wouldn't cause, but I'd rather err uh, on the side of caution. Oh come on, this is this is a fucking power bomb tunnel that I've ever seen. Holy crap, the power bombs in this are fucking outrageous. Look at that. That is no shit given levels of fucking wrecking the place. I love it. Oh, here was, this was the central core that we, we wrecked by using the metric power. I wonder why the central core went offline when we sucked off the enemy. I guess it's connected, yeah. Oh, we're just back here, so we could have backtracked on ourselves a little bit if we wanted to. What's up, y'all? Uploading data. Samus, you have manifested a new power. The speed with which you siphon energy is undoubtedly Metroid in nature. Fucking knew it, yo. You know place you Metroid, for you. The Metroid DNA inside you must have fully awakened. No doubt as a result of the many battles you have fought on this mission. So I wonder if the implication here then is that this is more or less almost directly after fusion. Hey Colin. This tremendous back. power is the last thing you require to confront Raven Beacon. I have detected a fortress in I wasn't sure if it was um, um a fortress. There. Oh my god he The Burb has a fucking sky fortress. Wait, maybe he's gonna do a colony drop. The time yes. Has come. Samus, Gross. fulfill your destiny. Alright, Dad, chill out. Honestly, I'm probably gonna str I haven't streamed Super Metro in a while. I'll probably stream it again soon as well. After doing that. Maybe after doing this. Owl's moving castle or whatever. Oh. What's up, yo? Woo! That looks incredible. We are shite sparking up this. Come off it. Come on, we're not we're not walking. What about peasant? Come on, Tammy, up we go! Woohoo! Nice. I wonder if there's a way to activate the suck power. Maybe that's when you counter it. Oh yeah, it's red. Maybe that maybe that's just the walking one, isn't it? Shine Spark and Super Metro so powerful drain your health. I do, yeah. It was a very risk reward kind of thing. I also love the natural way they showed you how to do it. There was no special power up for it. There was no special like, hey, here's a tutorial. It was literally, here's this fucking bird going back and forth and showing you how it works. Oh, hello, dude. These Chozo look fucking cool, don't they? They really do. Ah, yeah, look, there's the flash. Ugh. I'm 
timing on that's a bit weird. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed. Do I get the dick around? <laughs> Shit. That's not canon, by the way. Oh, you literally just run a melee it. Oh, right, okay. Ah. This isn't the real Sammy? I don't know, I think this will be. Especially with the uh, the augmented like Metroid on the back as well. I feel like so. I'm so glad that the Chozo not only look awesome in their power suits, but are badass as fuck. Like, it'd be so, so disappointed if we actually ran into like live Chozo and it would be like complete wussy. I see. Ah, so we can we can grapple it off afterwards. I swap. Darth Burb thinks about that. What, what even is that guy? That guy? He's a Chozo, yo. He got he got X'd, but he's a Chozo, and that's what's fucking terrifying about it, really. Like, what a fucking nightmare. Like, that's a Chozo in one of their own power suits, just like Sammy's got. But, you know, built for the actual species that, you know, made it. Or it was, anyway. I, they got X'd pretty, pretty recently, I think. Ooh. Hit. <laughs> we up, yo. Etorash. I guess that's their ship. Or their colony or whatever. Tenor says Samus is going to drop the fucking Skyforge onto the planet. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 ending, dot JPEG. You're East Coast US and I miss a lot of Dread, would I recommend? Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you want to play it, truthfully, I'm not, I'm not telling you to like, go away or anything, but like, it's very, very cool to see for yourself if you want to play it. And I don't want anything here that you're about to see to spoil it. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, Metroid in his chair, he looks so cool though. <laughs> yeah, this is basically the final bit. So... Wait, I just realized, so this means we're in a fully functioning, current tech level, fucking, like, Cholo Sky, Sky Fortress. Wow. I'll catch next stream so I'm not spoiled. Sounds good. Catch you in a bit. Thanks for dropping by, mind. But, yeah, like I said, I don't want you to be spoiled back soon, so. It's a raid from Kiko. Oh no, the saddest, the saddest bot announcement because I can't do any of the emotes anymore. What a tragedy. Hey, have you faced the final boss yet? We're literally about to, actually. Literally about to. Hey, Shine Sparkers, how you doing? Did I lose Dolly? No, Dolly is alive, don't worry. If anyone does bits or subs, Dolly should uh, loot, unless the bot's being a weirdo. I have no idea what it is. I assume it's Darth Burp, but. I'm not 100%. Yoink.
Your voice almost gone. Oh no, how come? You're not feeling very well. Oh, I need to. I really need to play FTL again. That game was cool. Oh, hearing you talk about it is awesome. Oh, the little details in the suit, like how she's got the lines going down from her chest to like her um, groin area, for lack of a better term, waist. And then you've got the Ooh. fusion suit style Metroid on the back, where she did in the fusion suit. It's like an amalgamation of the two. It's really cool. Some really nice touches in this. Also, reflecty floors. I'm, I'm a sucker for reflecty floors. Yes, he's got it. He's still got it. That looks suspicious like a mother brain thingy. Might be wrong. Okay. You get a lewd, and you get a lewd, everybody gets a lewd. Oh, first of all, thank you, Nacho. Sorry, I didn't mean to miss your uh, your lovely bits there. Thank you very much. Appreciate the biddies. Bab, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the five gift subs. That's really kind of you. Hey, Demron. You want to get back to the beginning of it? No worries, we're guy. Hey, Ollie. Running smash, yeah. I mean, power bomb? <laughs> oh, fucking power bombs in this game. <laughs> it's just like. Just like set off a nuclear weapon. That's the one thing that I always thought like was quite cool with other M's power bomb stuff. Sammy's all like, don't worry, I'll blow this shit up. And I was like, mate, in here, on this like fragile space station, not with your power bombs? No, I don't think so. Hey, Cape. Welcome, welcome. Hey, everyone. Thank you, yeah, Babel. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the gift subs. You're very kind. Catch you later. Thank you very much again. I guess we should, you know. Yeah, alright. That did look like one, right? The boobs, the boobs have been slain by Twitch. Half my emotes are gone and the sub badges are gone. We're, I'm working on it with Pumpkin to get some stuff in place. As well as whining at Twitch, but so far they're ignoring me. So I'm really sorry about that, folks. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. <laughs> Adam, I'm not sure that's how that works. <laughs> but okay, let's roll with it. <laughs> you had a heart transplant, now you're a pig. <laughs> oh no! I didn't want to be a pig today. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, sorry, Adam, I don't mean to talk over you, dude. No, this has been cool. We we worked this out, Shine Sparkers. Like uh, as soon as we saw the glowy hand, we were like, "That, that's that's the Metroiding. That's very cool. Very very cool." <laughs> Lewd. Three years. Holy crap, Burn. Thank you so much. Thank you very very much for three incredible years. I really appreciate it, and it's always lovely to have you here. That's a long friggin' time. I wish we had the boobs to show up for it, but boobs. At least they didn't get turned to bowls of fruit, so, you know, it could have been worse. Your Photon genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Oh god, we're getting lore dumps. Nice. That makes sense. That's from old... What's it, from uh, Old Bird and whatnot. He obviously did this. So we, we, I mean, we knew she was augmented, but like, in what, in exactly what way. That's interesting. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Photon. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Wait, what? <gasps> cool. So they spliced her with, like, warrior DNA as well. Metroids are programmed to identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as well. Choo-choo! <laughs> All aboard the loot train. train. His presence awakened the Metroids' killer instinct. Huh. Well, that's cool. 
There's the hype train! Woo woo! Thank you, Ollie! Thank you very much for the gift sub, dude. Look at everyone with their bum emotes. I'm not I got we got nothing. Maybe we should get some titty emotes, I'll show. Thank you very much, Ollie. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Lude. Lude! Morkin DNA, that's pretty grim. Grim Morkin. Grimorkins? Meow. Like Raragna. No, like uh, Talkaka. Uh, thank you very much, Arth. I should probably go and let the rest of your voice. Yeah, sorry, Kiki, I meant to ask. I did. Uh, sorry, let me pause a second before we continue. Before we get this lore drop. What happened to your voice, dude? Is, that, you, is everything alright? You haven't got, like, the gribble, have you? I hope you're alright. Thank you very much for all the pities and uh, subs and everything, everyone. Much appreciated. I see we've run into the supercard. Uh, typical. Well, rest up, man. Get some nice hot drinks or something and chill out a little bit, you know? Yeah, it's annoying you got your voice, but at least, you know, if it's minor, you can sort of look after yourself a little bit, at least. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. Oh. Well, that's bad. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. Adam, if you tell the Federation, I'm gonna fucking wee in your circuits. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. Oh, you that's good. You only use your new powers correctly. You get a loot, and you, you get a loot. Everybody oh. gets loots. Oh, thank you so much, John. <laughs> You're a wizard, Samus. John, thank you for the gifts. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Choo-choo! You made the plot and lost you a bit here. So what's happened is... I'll let Adam continue in two seconds. What's happened is... Um, in Metroid Fusion, Sammy got infected by the X. And because of that... To save her life, they had to give her a vaccine that had uh, Metro DNA in it. Um, they didn't know if it would work or not, and it did. But presumably, because of the extra DNA, the, the various um, Chozo DNA she already had, that allowed her to fight it off. However, it looks like that was a temporary thing, and um, the Metroids, uh, yeah, you know. That, that's my guess, anyway, so far. I'm sure we're going to find out more. I'm, I don't want to accidentally talk over Adam or anything, so I'll leave it at two seconds, but... Oh, Nacho, thank you very much again, dude. You get a loot, and you a slime get a girl. <laughs> Everybody gets loots. Sammy's slammy. No, Sammy's bitey. She's now bitey and suck. She's energy suck. Thank you, Avarice, as well. Thank you for the 200, Nacho. Thank you, Avarice, for the 100. Na Holy crap, Nasty Nun Professor. Dropping in here with the friggin' mega ludes. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Damn, dude. Thank you very, very much. That's so kind of you. Buy me Samus. Mmm. This is not good. The Samus, the, sadly, the Samus emo got slain. Shine Sparkus, we need your clout. Help us. Get someone who get someone who knows Metro to help us out. <laughs> get us our Sammy emote back. Thank you, Nutty Number Fesher. You're lovely, dude. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. That was really kind. Thank you very much. All right, let's. Uh... Faithfully so far, continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on TVR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your metro powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed Wait, what? told me everything. So oh! And offer up your power. Wait, My what? Plan is the only way to no! To the it's not Adam! Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. I just realized something. He didn't say lady, like, once. Like, that's the thing. They even explicitly showed that at the very start of the game. 
they they showed Rude. Adam. They showed Adam saying, like, lady, you know, like, as he did at the end of Fusion. And he hasn't said it since we've landed. S- Adam's sus. That's clearly fucking Darth Burb, isn't it? Oh my god, that's awesome. Fuck, that's cool. I don't know if Shine Sparkers are still here. I wonder if they're. Like, that's, that's really cool. Damn. Thank you, Jen. Traitor! Thank you very much for the biddies. Yeah, I, I was wondering why he wasn't very. Adamy, and I thought maybe it's just the way they've written him in this game, but no, that, that's explicitly on purpose. That's really cool. Thank you very much, Jen. <laughs> Wait, what? It's Daddy. It's his DNA. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. There's so much to unpack in that. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I want to check something. I don't know if we can look late later. I want to check something. I don't know if I, I might not have been quick enough to be honest. I was okay. Okay, look. Yeah, so we get a bit. We get some glimpses here. Yeah, so we can see quite clearly that that's the whole sh the shebang. And the hand as well. Like, interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, he's got the static on him. We need to. Uh, you need to listen to the static on him. No. Wait, isn't Darth Burr basically be us, but like way better? Essentially. Wait, he can't. He's not Darth Burr anymore. He's fucking daddy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That giant black hole of doom is looking a bit ominous. Okay, I think you have to slide that, right? Eek! Ah, fuck this prick. Have a power bomb, mate. Oh, God. Jessica, thank you so much! Thank you so, so much, Jessica. I think it's for... Yes, that that's actually a good point, Moo. Yeah, Adam, literally Adam kept saying, you have no hope of beating him. You have no hope of doing this. And we just thought, ah, it's Adam being sour like the SAX thing again. Also, what's really cool and a nice touch, of course, is the S that you, there was no SAXs here. Like, there's no SAXs here because they can't get into Samus anymore because of the Metro DNA. So they can't replicate any further, which is also really cool. The Chozo have the Chozo had no fucking hope because the second they were there, the X went yoink. Yeah, Adam's still on the ship. Presumably, wonder what the fuck is going on. I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm half tempted to watch the cutscene again, Chrono.
This is so hype. This is like the most lore we've got in Metroid in like fucking forever. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to fear though you Metroid is very toxic. Here we go. However, you have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your metro powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. Oh, I know. But Don't worry. I just want to see this cutscene again. Bring order to the galaxy. There's a lot to unpack here. Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. It looks like that augmentation she went through was really unpleasant. I do like the fact that Samus has had basically some life altering revelation like right there, and her response is to squint slightly and go like, alright, but. Shit, daddy. Shit. Damn. Ah! Ah! Oh god. Ugh. Oh god. Ugh. God. Okay. Fuck. The red the red one is the the counter one. definitely ladyified more than like the one from Super or like Prime. Like if you looked at the if you looked at Sammy in Prime or Super and if someone said that's that's Sam Aaron, he's really cool, you'd be like, yeah that's fair enough. But like this one definitely got hips for days. Flash shift, yeah I need to flash shift a bit more don't I?
Gold means he's invincible to this one, right? Oh, what a knob. Ah, oh, right. So I got I got it right. You have to run up and hit him. Samus' attacks from Samus Returns, wasn't it? He's, he's got the uh, rapid fire one. He's got the rapid fire one. Also, how interesting. How interesting, right? Like, a lot of Samus' moves are emulating the Chozo stuff, but not quite there, right? Like, oh, Samus can't have one. wings, so of course she's got the space jump. I wonder, if there's, I wonder if there's a thing to that. What's up, Dad? What if it's better to use the multiple star or it's better to use the regular one? I literally don't Clever though, right? He sends that big slow ball. Shit. I was thinking he's do the big power thing again. Okay. <laughs> this room is like we're being watched by the ancestors of the fucking Chozo. That or this guy's got a fucking. Ah! I need to. I need to. Yeah, well, fuck you, dude. No, this this ain't this ain't like Grimoire Transfer. Nah. He he's saying he's saying his daughter in the sense that it's his DNA. He's he's being a villain, dad. You know. Have 
it was it was his walking DNA, I guess. But, uh... My real dad, fuck off, mate. Wait, what? Yeah, take that, nerd lord. Back on the ground with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn. Oh, that looks bad. That looks really bad. What if I should. Ooh, that looks really bad. Woo! Ah. He shines parking me! What a knob! Metro power side. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Grab his arm, Sammy. Oh, it's metal, right? She probably can't. Choked out. It's probably quite hard to shoot someone. So.
there's a rumbling in my controller. There's a rumbling. There's a rumbling going on. Oh? Wait, is that a claw? Uh, that's Sue. I was a Chozo Claw in a Metroid suit. Wow. Holy shit. This game's fucking popping off. Samus who sees, like, I don't know, like, shouting and ripping a shot off, going, Gah! I like it. Whoa! I bet Bird Boy's, uh, fuck now. Holy shit! We get to see them, like, properly. Ah, so is your right to be honest, dickhead. Oh. Oh, obviously. Wow. We the thing now, apparently. Oh, sorry, I, I needed to hold the button. I'm being bad, sorry. <laughs> I was like, can I hold it and then release it? No, just gotta hold it. That, that, MB. It's like a monstrous grape or something. It's the hyper beam. It's, like, it's almost like a Metroid beam looking at the energy. <laughs> Sammy's not taking any chances of that thing. Hey, he got selled. Rip. Well, I guess I was bang on the money about the suit looking a bit like. Uh, wait, I can. Uh, we out, I guess. Not this way. This way? What? Up. Ha. I don't think even the X is trying to get away from this shit, like... Ooh. Destroying all the blocks. Wait. I couldn't get up there. Ah. Go to the Samus tab. Hyper beam. It is the hyper beam. It's the same beam she got off of the um same beam she got off the baby Metroid. The Metroid suit. The Metroid DNA inside Samus has surged completely out of control and transformed into an organism that is essentially a Metroid. Her latent power causing all arm counter abilities to combine into a devastating beam. Delicious. Oh 
Oh, this would be kind of fine. Jesus. Give me in for a fucking shock, and <laughs> What the? Oh. Oh no, that's really sad. I wonder what I'm doing. the X keep the memories of their host, maybe that was enough? Yeah. Man, Sammy, what are you, 5 for 5 on players now? Jesus. That was awesome. There's so much story stuff in that's really important to the series as a whole, and that's really cool. I'm glad they took the risk to do that. Those shows you could control the Metroids, yeah. And I guess his DNA was enough to, uh... to balance it back out again. Worth waiting all these years for? Yeah, man. Yeah, I loved it. I loved every second of that. That was really good. Yeah, well, speedrunners are always insane these kind of things. Oh, there's, there's, bound, there's bound to be some ending stuff, isn't there? Gonna be. Bound to be. Yeah, <laughs> insurance companies hate her. Find out how, and so on. We had only got the Metro Suit for a little while. It's very like the ending of Super, where you get the Hyper Beam there, and it's just, it's just meant for a, a quick, like, this is, you are super, super powerful, go fucking ham and get out. It's, it's a bit of fun. Not familiar with Metro, but honestly, the entire series is great. The only one that's a little bit rough to play these days, like, really rough, is the very, very first one, because it's just very, very old. And that's not to, to take a dig at it, it's just a, it's just a very old game. And, it, and a lot of the stuff it did back then is quite old school. Like, if you have all, like, if you've got, like, maximum energy and armor and, um, missiles, oh, excuse me, and you die, you start with 30 health and you have to farm it all back up again and stuff like that. It's just like, uh, okay. That was very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking that to believe that she can suppress the powers when she needs to now, maybe? Nikki Garcia and Hollow. I'm guessing Nikki is Samus? Sorry, Wordy Pie, I can't read to work, mate. Apologies, I can't see. I can't get what you're saying. If Sunroo could control Metro, if the X absorbed his ability, it could help her control it. I mean, as far as the X is concerned, I'm guessing. 
Alright, fair enough, we're apart. Nah, he beat me to it, pumpkin. But, I'm, I'm wondering if, in the grand scheme of things, a Sa like, as far as the X was concerned, a Samus that was in control is less dangerous than the Samus without. Man, Samus is gonna have to like stop by like a therapist planet after that lot. Jesus Christ. Could you imagine? Also, can you imagine the awkward silence? Can you imagine the awkward silence, right? Like Adam's like, so So what happened? You know, this and that. Anything I need to know about? That's why I'm wondering, Boo, whether it's a case of it's better for the ex that she's in control than without. No, I reckon it's an insurance scam, Clemming. Like, the Federation's like, boy, Samus, it'd be really bad if you went to this planet and dealt with these Metroids, and they take out their, like, anti-Samus insurance or whatever, and it's like, oh no, it blew up! What a, what a, what a, what a fucking shame. Seven hours, nice. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. Oh, I like it. I wonder if you unlock, you unlock artwork or something for um, beating. Oh! That's... I'm not even going to worry about it, Pumpkin. No, it's just like, eh. Thanks for uh, sorting it, though. Hardman unlocked. Well, not I'll be doing next time. I'm guessing there's, like, different, um... Oh, hold on. Gallery. Ending rewards. Okay, so we've got two ending rewards. Out of the six, okay. We've got these Chozo archives we haven't got access to yet either. Endings are based on time. Oh, that's really cool. Had the actual jingle. I've never actually continued this yet, so. So a four hour clear time is it as well, okay. So it plonks you back, oh it plonks you basically back here, okay. So I guess the one to go for is get 100% of items and then, and then go from there. Very, very fucking cool. Alright, we've got, we've got a bit of time. You know what, I'm, I've, I've got a, I've got an urge. Shall we? Just for a bit. Bling. All right. I'll do. I'll probably do the hundred percent off uh, off stream. So I can. I can. That way I can poo around in like and. Uh... This was the last numbered um, Metro game before Dread, like on a console. Like a home console. Oh, look at it, it's cute. I love that it like, sets the tone really well, just dead people on the, on the title screen. Oh yeah. Wow, I did that pretty quick. All right, I need to change the buttons around. 
to say. I always, I imagine people get like, like, what the hell does my button say? But probably just do that. The last Metroid. Yeah, don't worry, Harry. We'll have a look at the other one as well. The galaxy is at peace. This weirds me out. There's no German subtitles. Spooky. Man, Metroid Dread was fucking great. Damn, what a great game. Dread's Metroid 5, yeah. So this is Metroid 3, then we had Metroid 4 on in, as Fusion on the GBA. Then we had Metroid 5, Dread. Germans are not real, it's true. Germans are a myth. I love that this gives a recap of Metroid 1 and 2 before we get going, which is nice. I mean, there's a reason that Metro like Super Metroid uh, gets pretty much bang on all the best game of like this ever. It's just a really solid game. I wouldn't say I know it like 100% perfectly, but I know it like mostly like the back of my hand at this point. I'm no speedrunner or anything, but I know this game pretty well. Yeah, the voice acting on the snares was rare as well. It wasn't, wasn't particularly common. Makes it stand out. Also, look how fucking tall Samus is. Like, I love that. It's just a shot of Sammy just like, yeah, towering above this fucking dude. Yeah, like, that's the thing, yeah, you could absolutely release your Metro today. It could go up on Steam, say, like, a game, you know, as, as a game, and people would believe it's a, it's a modern game. Wait, I hope, that, I hope Sammy doesn't end up like that. Yeah, she's 400 pounds. Yeah, like Sam Samus is huge and heavy. Thick, I believe is the correct terminology. Oh no, not Sarah Station. Shit. I actually wrote a game FAQ guide for this game years ago. It got rejected, sadly, which makes me a bit sad to this day. I wrote like a boss guide. Can I make Ridley drop Babby? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if we can do it. Whoop. I want to say the last time I streamed Super Metro is when I did it on uh, on the Shine Sparkers channel, actually. Many moons ago. I've still got my OG Prime behind me, actually, on the shelf. Well, I've got, I've got Prime 1, Prime 2, 3 on the Wii, and then Trilogy. Whoop. Knock it off, Ridley. Not like she did. Also, I'm impressed. No Ridley. No Ridders. Oops. Shit. You're actually better off taking the fire shots, I think. Drop that baby, you! Ah, shit. Not quite. Not quite. Alright, it's good. It was pretty close. It was pretty close. Alright, it's good. I saw, this, I saw this actually fairly comprehensive retrospective of like the Metroid series on YouTube the other day by somebody. And when they got to Samus Returns, they spent the entire time shit on it, which is a bit sad. Hey Stan! I'm doing good, how are you doing? 
And the, the, basically their complaint was it wasn't like the fan fan remake, which I think is not a not a very fair comparison. To be perfectly honest. Oh. Mm. Wee. I actually think um, Samus Returns remake gives a lot of really interesting stuff. It gives a lot of extra lore. Gives a lot of um, gives, expands Metro Two quite nicely. But another Metroid 2 remake is also really, really freaking good, and, it's, and we're very lucky that we've got two extremely good Metroid 2 remakes, which I think is, uh... Honestly, I've said this time and time again, Nintendo could have completely fucked AM2R really bad. Like, seriously bad. Like, I don't think people realise, like, how easily they could have just gone ham on that thing. They let it out in the wild for a week and then canned it. Or a few days and canned it. I forget, it was, like, it was a few days or a week. They could have absolutely canned it before that happened. No doubt. They they knew that thing would get out and people could download it and play it. They could have taken it in another direction. I'm not here defending like their, their actions or whatever, but you know, they could have easily have made that a lot more uh a lot more gribbling than it was, for sure. Oops. Yeah. That's the thing they could have taken it out completely way sooner. Boing, 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 boing. Alright. Whee! Oops, that was a bit too early. Now what? Whoop! Bonk! Who'd you get up to, Froggy? When you got stuck? Oh, damn it. Not used to playing this with a fucking analog stick. Jesus. Future Tech, they need to stop making their space, space stations out of Explodium. That would do the job. Whoop. One thing I always loved about this when I was a kid is that it's not a mirrored sprite, which for the time was quite rare. Like, Sammy, Sammy's, um, uh, Sammy's sprite is actually proper. Which is actually a big deal when you consider she's only got one actual hand hand, the rest of the dealers aren't on cannon. Oops. It's amazing how off-putting it is playing this with a stick. I'll make do. I'll make do. Mm, miss skulls. You got past the new bridge. Oh yes, you got a sprint. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this game is creepy. Like, this game's super creepy. And that's what makes it so interesting, I think. <laughs> One missile to open doors. No, fuck you, it's five. There's a... Uh, there it is. I don't know if I'm able to get that yet. I can come back with a bomb, but I never normally bother because the bomb jumping is a bit fiddly in this. There's a hot area to the right. You're, oh, you're in Norfair then. Okay. So, at the bottom of Norfair, there should be a bit you can find the high jump boots. Whoop. Oh, I haven't changed the, the game here forever. I'm being lazy. Dumb mad too much. We're still talking about Metro, it's all fine. So I'm fine, you still don't have asymmetrical spies. Indeed, yeah, it's, it wasn't particularly common for the deck. Can I use the, oh, I can use the D-pad. Oh, I'm just a moron, sorry. Oh no, the pirates are here. Bonk. That's the thing, Samus in Dread is a lot quicker to control. Same with what they did with um, Samus Returns, really. Like, Sammy in Super Metroid feels heavy. But it's a good heavy. Like, she's thick. Ah, fuck it. Oh, let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Until we get to here. There we go. Nope. Come here, It's not worth jumping up here if I don't know exactly where the pirates are, I think. Let's just do the old-fashioned way. Shit. Thanks. I actually really like this when it got cre I always thought as a kid it got it just a bit where the game got like quite creepy. Like when the scary music started and whatnot. I love that this is a nice nod to obviously Metroid 1. This is the escape tunnel and the final ele elevator. I don't think it's floaty, no, I think it's just that Samus has weight to her. I think that's the important distinction. 
could get extra missiles, but fuck it. Yoink. God damn it. Right. Oh, I can't use the D-pad on the Pro Controller, it's in the wrong place. This is like the most basic bitch complaints of a controller ever, but like, I don't know if anyone else feels like if it's not in the right place, it doesn't feel right. The Morph Ball's super heavy in Dread, yeah. Once you get to the Morph Ball time, I expect you to slide. Too much Dread. Yeah, seriously, right? Oh look! See, this is this is the old, one of the old, like, Chozo statues. So the interesting thing is how big they are. Get out of the noob. Nice. The eight bit do controllers. Yeah, the, I've got an eight bit do for um, the PC. Nice. Fun fact: I didn't when I bought my first when I bought my Wii U. Uh, the only game I had on it for ages was Metroid, <laughs> Super Metroid, from the Virtual Console. It was basically a Metroid machine. Am I gonna bother collecting all the goodies? Which one's the map room? The map room's this one, I wanna say, which I don't need. Oh no, it's a safe section. Bonk. I think this game holds up incredibly well. It's it's still a, like a modern mass, like you know, it's, a, it's a retro masterpiece. But you know, again, I still think for the most part you could tell people this was made today, and like, and people would be like, yeah, no, that's fair enough. Yeah. Alright, mugs. Let's go. There's a couple of bits, you think. Mm, okay. But, but overall, I'd say very, very solid. It's amazing how many, like, um, like legendary series, the SNES, like, legendary uh, versions that, like, the SNES produced. Is this the map room? So one of these is the fucking map room. No, this is a... Which one's this one? Yeah, he's like... Uh, you don't need to go this, but I thought whatever looks into it. It is the map room. A fucking map room, aren't you? I don't need you! I know where I'm going! Right. You were guilty into playing Super Metroid. Game Super Metroid last year, you didn't know Super Metroid existed. You thought Prime was the first game. Oh, really? Are you glad you did? Well, they're saying that. If someone had laughed at me in a game show, I'd have told them to fuck off. Right. Yoing. Let's go. Trying to go get our first, uh, well, technically it could be our second if we're being a bit weird about it, but... Doink. Did I enjoy Dread's ending? Absolutely. It was friggin' fantastic, man. Nice. Maybe it wasn't a mean laugh. No, if it was a nice, if it was a nice, like, jokey sort of, like, friendly thing going on, that's a bit different, but... Space pirates, space pirates, doing space pirate things. Ooh. The only thing I would say about Dread that I think is a bit of a shame, I gotta be honest, is the fact that um, the music, it's very atmospheric, but it's not very catchy. Like, it's not like this game. Like this game, if you had to listen to Grinstar Breen here, <laughs> Grinstar Breen, sorry, Grinstar Green area, like Fish Station area, like this theme, like this is a, this is a pretty bopping bit of music. Ah, this is not the right room. This is the wrong room. Oh well, we're in it now. Whatever. I forget what we get. I know the big thing is to skip the sports spawn, but I've never. Map room! <laughs> I don't want you. Go away. Yeah, Brinstar's great. Oh, Crate, um, Crate's Lair's also great. Do, 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 
Although the original, the original Great Slayer seems a bit dodged, but... See, loads of people got stuck on the new bridge. Um, why am I getting to the save room? Especially when now I can see the doors. Um, loads of people got stuck onto the new bridge, but I never had that issue, and it's not... This might sound a bit silly, but it's because in games like Super Mario Brothers and stuff, I'm always running. Like, if there's a run button in a game, I'm always using it. Like, so I never had a problem with, like, the stuff like this. The new bridge is a bridge in, um... It's a, a bridge in this area, in, like, the lower part of... We'll get there in a minute, probably. Probably long together. Um, you have to sprint across it. So a lot of people don't realise. They, they move Samus like this. Like this. Whereas, there's a dedicated sprint button. Of course. Again, if you're... Uh, I should go get the charge beam, actually. Uh, I mean, in reality, I really shouldn't get the charge beam before we go do this, but whatever. Doink. Am I going to do the whole game tonight? God, no. No, I won't have time. I've got to get up really early tomorrow. I've got to be at work before 6am, and that's uh, an over half an hour drive on top of that. So, sadly not. There's a uh, thingy here. Don't actually. Sure. It's a super missile power bomb. Power bomb. Right. I want to go up there, but I can't. Right. Hey. Also, one thing that's really nice, and this was big for old games, if you've damaged an enemy and it goes off of the screen, a lot of games just treat that as the enemy will be respawned in its original place. This game doesn't do that. Like, that weird little floaty fly monster bullshit. Like, they got a spot name. I don't know what it is. Um, that thing gets, um, uh, it lost its health and stayed lost, which is really nice. Well, I should get some health, actually. Might need to be better now. Might need to be better now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, welcome back, Star. I don't know if anyone else was like this, but as a kid, I basically never used missiles and always charged. Because I was a weirdo. Mmm, sports spawn. Everyone's favourite boss. I did even want to get to like, I think it's like two or three missiles in each time. I think you can actually count the, uh, the breathing. The music's really creepy, yeah. I also thought this thing was creepy in general, like when it died the room goes all like, yellow and awkward piss. Yeah, this one never gets fallen speed runs, does it? We're coming out to the new bridge shortly. Ah, bollocks. I should have got two there. Yeah, bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fuck you, small spawn. I wonder when, when this was used in speedruns. I wonder how many runs this thing ruined. There we go. <sighs> Not enough height. I just never used missiles, I was weird. Whereas now I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. 
It's quicker. Oops, did not want to do that. Nice bit of design here as well. If you're a doofus and like waste all your missiles, they're like, don't worry, we got you covered. Also, a nice real subtle touch showing you how powerful the missiles are. Which I always really like. Showing the two little dudes like falling. Like, this, this shit's the real deal, you know? Oh yeah, the dogs. They're well, not really dogs, but they always remind me of little, like, alien dogs. I don't know. My health's getting a bit dodge. All right, here's the new bridge. Ready? If you don't sprint, you fall. And a lot of people didn't quite uh, like understand the whole sprinting thing initially. And that's where it which catches you. Of course, we could just go up. There's a few bits you can go up here and do, but you have to actually be pretty good at what you're doing, which I'm not. That's what was putting me off with the uh, dread ball jump for a bit. Don't want to break that, because it's got the weird dog in it. This way. I got stuck somewhere else, like in the game. I didn't get stuck on the new bridge. I got stuck on um, the bit in Meridia with the sand and stuff. Oh, yeah, shit, that was my bad. Phaser. Who needs to get the high jump boots? Those little dudes that offer a 16 hour shift and I woke them up. What, the plant dudes? Or? Oh, the creature you're not down with the super missiles. Yeah, those guys. They're just sleeping. Dinner and dizzy. Also, remember I was talking about the tunnel in Metro Dread? This is what I was talking about. So it was a nice, very nice throwback to this, which you open up with da -da -la, a power bomb. Oh, can I still do this? Let's see. There is a way you can actually jump up here. I don't know if I can. There we go. I have to save it for Crowd. Shit, where is it? There it is. No! Sequence break, I know, naughty, right? There's literally no point doing this, so I'm just gonna make the boss fight way harder for me, but it'd be fun. So do it. Again, I'm no expert at this, but I have played it enough times I can give the general gist of what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna go for the save room, I think. Oh yeah, no, I forgot, no high jump boots. Whoop. No. Stop eating those legs. Right, the save room's around here, if I remember right. So I am actually going to make the most of this for this one. Yeah, I'll just get my super missiles back, probably. Also, fun fact! All of our games in UK land were all shitty 50 hertz garbage. So 50 frames per second rather than 60. Except Super Metroid, which did something very clever instead. Of course, there was other games that did other bits, but like Super Metroid's a pretty famous example. It was 60 frames per second, kind of, but every like every 60 frames it skipped one. Like to do something a bit weird. So you end up with like a slightly stutter, like a little stutter, but it made the game run at 60, which was friggin' awesome. Like, it, made, it makes a huge difference. 
Like, if I could show you, like... Ugh. If I could show you what, um... Ah, oh, I my... Yeah, whatever. If I could show you what, like, Sanic was like on 50 Hz, it's awful. Do I want a uh, missile regen and health regen? No, we'll just use this guy. I'm gonna need five super missiles to make this work. Well, I need three. You can kill Kraden three, but it's far safer to have a few more. Four. Okay, okay the next one should be. Uh, oh, you're gonna be a dick about it. It's gonna be a dick about it. Be a little dick about it. Now it's gonna be health. Alright, fine. Be like that. Alright, see what we can do. If you do this correctly, we can dump one missile, then two, then three supers right in his face. This will not happen, by the way, and I'll ruin it. But we'll see. It's been off. He goes, meow. Old fashioned with them. Fuck you, dude. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Not quite as smooth as, uh, as it should have been, but hell, I'll take it. You can do it super fast. Like, you basically just go missile, super, 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 and, like, he goes, Bleh. But I'm also a bad, so. But hey, we got the various suit broken out of order, so that's kind of fun. It means we haven't got to backtrack as much. Yeah, see you in like a million years, Craig. Oops. Imagine doing that and then dying to the spikes. In fact, I don't have to imagine because it's exactly what I did as a kid. It's very sad. Oh, got many crate. I killed you dead. Now what? He does. Yeah, people forget about Paul Zero Mission Crate. He doesn't get any luck. Hey! What the hell? I'm not supposed to do that. My favorite bit about Kraid and Dread was Sammy's reaction to it. She was just like, fucking nah, mate. Come on then, little not Metroids. Honestly, Zero- People keep saying that Zero Mission's like the easiest thing ever. Honestly, I've died a, a, good, a decent amount in Zero Mission. It's, it's got some difficult bits in it. I will 100% believe, though, if people will be talking about Dread being the hardest Metro game ever made. I've got to be honest. Have you tried to get 100% items in Zero Mission? Yeah, it's really tedious because you have to wait until you get the, uh... <laughs> you have to wait until you get the, um... I don't spoil it, you know what I mean. They chose a ruined bit, chose earlier. Whee! Right. So, Froggy, this way you were, right? Oh, one of these is the map room. I'm not going to fall for it ever again. Fuck you. This is the high jump boots room. So you come in here. This is all you need to do, Froggy, before you go do Crade, if you're still here. You just come down here. I'm getting these because I'm not doing a fucking wall jumps for the rest of the time. Nice. Oh, jeez. Guys, I'm still so achy. Ugh. We're on, like, day, what was it? Day 12? Day 12 of no tramadol. But it's just like, oh, man. The aches never end! And the insomnia's still there, but... Again, uh... The Sparkle puzzle. Which one's that? Oh, and, oh, the Zero Mission one. Yeah, yeah. There's some really spicy ones in there. Though, I did, I did find... Uh, oh, yeah. I did find the um, uh, the secret infusion really fun as well though. Don't need that, do we? Uh, I guess technically we, we could seek and break here, but why? Let's go back up to... Uh, this is the map room, isn't it? 
map room. No, this is the... No, this is the other one. This is the... This is an interesting one, because you can sequence break here and get this early. But doing so is actually really tough. I don't know if I'm good enough to do it. I'll try. No, you got... I guess we could do it from here, probably. Need a bit of a run-up, but... Need to do it before the door's shut. Nah, you gotta, you gotta have like a run up. I'm not even attempting that now. You gotta do a run up, jump, and um, and use the morph ball. Yeah, the mop ball, yeah. It's just, I find it really hard to do. Like, my, my stupid fingers uh, can't quite, quite deal with it. No, I'm missing something. I can't go this way. What am I missing? Speed booster. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. What time is it? I'll go for a little bit longer. I like Zero Mission. I think it's fun. I like most of the Metro games. Right. Uh, this way? Is this the hot room? Yeah. I'm gonna be lazy. Nice. Woo no, I missed him. Whatever, man. Going. Bomb jumping is tough. No fan house. Little dragon dude, such knobs. Really? Well done. I'm just gonna take it like a champ. No one can stop me. Watch out, John. Bot's got you. So I know there's like a. Isn't there a damage boost you can do on this one where you, you jump up and then. It's like here and you go. Bonk, and then it goes in there, but honestly, I can never fucking do it. I'm too hopeless. This is the missile. I probably don't need that, but whatever, let's go for it. Oops. But if you've seen, obviously, if you've been watching Dread, you can see, like, where all the influences come from, can't you? It's very, you know, Dread, Dread, what? Dread really wears its Super Metroidness proud in its sleeve, as it should. I think there's another one down there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Oh shit. Whoop. So this bit's actually a bit of a fun one. You just go sort of down and round. You can also get the wave beams soon, I want to say. Not this bit. Get some health. Mmm, delicious. Nice. Bomb jumping's really hard. Even even in this game, it's uh, the timing's pretty tricky. Because you don't go as much. Uh, you go, you just wait for that. And then... Ah, you get the idea. It's easy to do in dread, let's put it that way. There's. Oh god. I just thought the lava guys were kind of cute. So down there, that's Ridder's place, I think. We'll leave him to it though, he's a knob. Really? You should do me like that, Sammy. The lava guys are illegally adorable. They are, aren't they? I think these guys are kind of cute too. Sammy Shuffle. Sammy too thick for this one though. Sorry little dude. 
Ah, here we go. So we don't want this door, we want that door. So this is where we can get the wave beam early. Just requires a bit of shenanigans. And being careful. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. You're supposed to have the grappling beam to do this. You don't need it. Take a bit of damage and then you can just go... Whee! Just take a bit of damage here and then... Whoop, whoop. Yeah, boy! 400 pounds, I think it's supposed to be? Oh, no, 400 kilograms. 400 kilograms, I see this. Sounds like a Goomba stomp with the best one, that's for sure. There we go! Wave beam. Annoyingly, the way to get out of this is really really irritating. I think you have to do it over here. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Neat. You have to be careful though, because the spikes do a lot of damage. But now we've got the wave beam, which means stuff goes through stuff. Which makes life a lot easier. Who needs who needs the fucking grappling beam? Not I. There's also right there. I want to say this. There it is. That's where you come out later. From lower north end probably, but no. And here's the speed booster. Oh no! And and Nintendo thought of everything. Good work, dear force. Right, now we get the cool power-up. Well, they're all pretty cool, but we get a cooler power-up. The best thing is it gives you like a light long run-up to test it on, which is also pretty fun. This game is a prime example of like teaching by showing. Not telling, which is really nice. Speed choose! Woo! And out we fucking go. The fake lava sucks. I actually really don't like it. I don't. I don't like. I don't like. This thing will kill you. This thing will kill you. But it, you know. Except this time it doesn't. You just go through it. Like nah, not that shit off. There needs to be visual cues, really. Like proper, like better ones. Nice to see you. Now we can get the ice beam. Wee. The fun thing is, I think we can go this way now. This is the right, wrong one. No, this is the oh, old disgusting save point. Who needs one of those? I will stop it, man. Sorry. I get, I, the problem with this game, I get, I get like nostalgic and or excited about it. So I like to just, you know. It's a game I know pretty well. I'm trying to think. God, I fucking knows how many times I've been through this game. What killed the Metroids? The Ice Age! Speed boosts feel so good in these games. Friggin' hardcore. <laughs> eh. One thing that I think was completely underrated, I didn't see much mention in many like reviews of uh, Dread, is the doors. Like the doors are instant. Like, I think that's actually a surprisingly big deal, like, with the doors, even in Super, like, you can see how long it takes to get from room to room. Oh yeah, check so. Not that. Yep. We ain't going around. What am I, a peasant? Woohoo! Whee! Nice to meet you. Where did Bobby Metroids come from? When a mummy Metroid and a daddy Metroid hate each other very much and perform some sort of nightmarish enemy energy sucking thing, that's when you get new Metroids. 
Whee! Plop, plop, plop. Thanks. There it goes. Cool, now we can leave. You know, probably not making a bad, not not a great, not like an amazing time, but not a terrible time either. It's been fairly quick. I studied the Metro Biology about fruit, damn right. I'm very wise. Oh, Put my shine sparking. That is new. There's something very satisfying about the noise of the uh, frozen. I've mentioned this last time I went through this game. I remember it distinctly. Here, in these blocks, in the official guidebook, supposedly there is an enemy that can appear in these blocks, disguised as one of the blocks. I don't think that ever made it in the in the final game. I think that might have been like a, a beta shit beta thing, and it never made it in or something. So I've never seen one. The one the wonderful thing about this game as well is that while like I said at the start, Sammy feels heavier in this game than perhaps in other games. But the amount of control you actually have over her is second to none. It's ridiculously good. Yeah, it's little worm things. Yay. That one loves the little worm things. They're cute. This room is complete wee. You gotta take it really carefully. Nice. Sammy feels heavier. She does, though. There's a block in the bottom right with there's something that latched onto you and these bombs. No, not that guy. No, I don't mean like the mini dog droid or whatever. The, the, the yellow thing. No, there's like a block. Shall we sh I don't know where my... I don't know where my official instruction booklet for my Super Nintendo version is. It might be with Dad. But essentially, there's an enemy that's listed to be in the Brinstar Red area in that book that disguises itself as a block. Like an actual, like, tiny block. Like, that size. Like, that thing I'm shooting out there. That, that tiny little one there. Like that sized. Jesus. Get out of it, you slug. Oh my god, they take two super missiles. These dudes are hardcore. Uh, which one is it? It's this one. This room's also bomb. Whee! Is it this room you're thinking of, Axon? Or is it the other room? Oh, it's actually easier to turn off the uh, high jump boots for that, but solid. it. Hey, back at the Katara. I gotta be honest, I have a newfound love for Ara Ara. Aria? Ara Ara Ara? It could be, it could be. I could have missed a power bomb. No offense. And there's a really hard trick you can do in this room where you shine spark across the, uh, you shine spark right across into the crash ship. Again, I am not, I'm not cool enough to do that, I'm afraid. This bit is a freaking nightmare. Can I do this without dying? Probably not. Find out in a second, I guess. I always found this this entire section just a pure, pure, pure nightmare. Probably easy to take these guys out, really. The last thing you want is these guys to latch you. All that happened. I 
Okay. It's probably the dangerous bit done. Yeah, there we go. Nice. This is where I say sod out and just power bomb my way for early. Please take me away from this horrible place. Pro controller is not made for that. I'll tell you. Oh. Yeah, I'll do Honestly, I think a lot of the time it's just safer to do this. There we go. And just zoomy, zoomy, and then. Go for both missile tanks. I never know how to do this properly. I always forget where it is. It's like right here, isn't it? Ah, no, I screwed it. I screwed it. I screwed it. Nah, screwed up. No such luck. I always forget exactly where it is, and then I stuff it, and I'm like, eh, I need to come back and do this. Meh. And I forgot to flub it. Every fucking time. Whee. Hello. I'm trying to think, like, after few, after Super, every other Metro game treats power bombs like a really, really, really late game thing, don't they? What time is it? Oh, my five minutes. Now. Very fine. Right, this is where we can do the bit that I can never do with the mock ball. There's some spicy trick with the mock ball you don't have that I will never be able to do because I'm too much of a bad. So let's just go. Yep. Miskles. And what's up here? Super missile reserve tank, isn't it? Oh yeah, because this is this is how they get the super missile to avoid spore spawn, isn't it? It's this one. This is my go-to against Dragon. I stuff something up. I find mock ball a hard uh, definitely a hard trick to do. Like props to the speedrunners of these games, I tell ya. They are good at what they do. If the uh, the increase with AGDQ and the whole save kill the animals thing has had an impact on the sales of Metro Dread, the fact that you know it's so well known and everything now. Yeah, that's what I did earlier, uh, Acton. You just you, I got I got the spades on the way through because it's a super quick way, isn't it? This is a bit you don't really need to do because this drops you down to the wall jumping little dudes. I might show it off actually because I always thought it was really cool. Yeah, you. Oh, I didn't even know that was a trick, right? Like, I found out, like. I, I, like, I didn't know wall jumping was like a, a, like a more advanced thing when I was younger. Uh, I forget where it is. Spoiled milk! Happy 10 months! I've been having a grab for a couple of days and I hope you've been having a get for it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Spoiled milk, dude. I'm sorry you've been feeling so rough, man. Well, I'm glad that uh, things have helped cheer you up a little bit. I hope you're sort of on the mend. God. Fuck you. Thank you very much, Portmo, though. 
I love these guys. And they show you exactly how to wall jump. It's such a cool moment when you realise that's exactly what they're doing. I love it. What a bunch of little heroes. Oh fuck. Friend it. Thanks, dudes. It was bread, but now we've unbreaded. If we finish bread. It's really funny, because until you understand what they're showing you, you feel like you're stuck in this room, right? Like, you feel like, like, how the hell are you supposed to get out of here? It's like a friggin' flat wall. It's nothing you ever learn in the game, per se. This is the only place it ever shows you. Which I think is a really cool, like, moment in gaming thing. These guys taught you how to wall jump, you taught them how to fly a spaceship, I said some fair trade. <laughs> this is, like, the most sad thing about it is infusion. They've got a little enclosure with a little tire swing, like they're fucking monkeys. <laughs> it's like, these guys can fly a spaceship, you've given them a tire swing, you tight bastards. <laughs> they must have felt so like, like, fucking humans, really. Alright, spoiled milk. Catch you later, dude. Thank you again. And I hope you feel better. Oh, I shall... Oh, maybe we'll carry on with this next time. Or another time. Why not? It's been good fun. Good stuff. Wow! Wasn't Metroid Dread a fucking great game? Holy crap. So, so good. Honestly, Kane, it's, it was amazing. Like, the last, like, ten minutes was incredible, by the way. And well worth a watch. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thanks for being here, Shine Sparkers. Appreciate seeing you. Thank you very much, everyone. It's been an absolute blast. Dread was worth the wait. Uh, it's not every day we get a new Metroid game. It's one of my favourite series ever. Um... It's lovely to see it. Like, it really is. Uh, the fact that it's so fucking good after all this time is really quite nice. So yeah, I really hope it sells well. And uh, that Kotaku article really rubbed me up the wrong way as well, actually. Yeah, but less said about that, the better, probably. <laughs> Bastards. Right, i got to get an early night tonight, because I've got to uh, get very early tomorrow at work. Which is obnoxious, but there you go. Ugh. Right, thanks everyone. You're all lovely, lovely, lovely people, and I hope to see y'all again very, very soon. Oh, Ollie's on. Let's 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 quickly raid Ollie. It'd be a shame not to raid anyone, since uh, it's nice to always pop in, isn't it? To the poop, everyone. Do take care and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. <laughs>